Hi guys, today we'll be doing a Batman movie ranking. Worst to best. So, starting off in number 10, will be, of course these are the ones I watched. It will be Batman vs Superman. That shit sucked ass, it was boring, stupid. Lex Luthor looked like a fool. Had Wonder Woman in it, I think. It just, it didn't feel like a Batman movie. It was talk shit. It was so bad. Yeah, that was number 10. Number 9, it will be... Let me see. Batman and Robin. That shit was stupid. But at least some um, Terminator guy was there. Arnold. And, uh... I'm trying to remember who else. Uh, Poison Ivy. And I think Bane. <laughs> it was so funny, though. That's what saved it. Uh, number 8. Let me see. Batman Forever, I guess. The movie was in. This is the first movie with Robin in it. And it was okay. The Flying Grayson's part was cool. Um, let's see what else. Um, I'm trying to remember the villains of the movie. Oh, we had Riddler. That was the main villain. I think. I think. Riddler. And that's the only one I remember, really. But other than that, kind of forgettable. Jim Carrey saves this movie. But yeah. It was an okay movie, but not a top movie, I'd say. Um. Oh yeah, and the Batman and Robin. I think there's a woman superhero. It's pretty cool, but that's the only cool thing about the movie. <clears throat> Number seven. I'm trying to think. Maybe Batman Returns. I didn't really like it that much. The first one was better. So, number seven, Batman Returns. Because I don't really like it that much. Eh. It was alright. Penguin was good though. The, the, the ear biting part was funny. Yeah, that was a good movie with that, but other than that, it's kind of boring. Number six. I'm trying to think. What would be number six? Um. So I put Batman Returns at number seven. Number six. order again so there's the 60s movie the 80s one the early 90s one um, I'm trying to remember the mid 90s one the late 90s one uh, mid 2000s one late 2000s one early 2010s one Sixties one. I don't remember the other one. Uh, let me see. When was that? I don't fucking remember, honestly. Let's put a random one in there. Okay, number six. It's a really hard one. I need to write it down.
the movies right here. Okay. Then I re-rank this one. Rank that one. I forgot to do these ones. The 60s one. The 2020s one. And the uh these ones. 60s ones, 2020s ones, 80s ones. What I put number six on? I genuinely don't know. <laughs> Maybe there's nine. Maybe I fucked up. Eight. How many? One. Fuck. Two, three, four, five. Okay. Seven, eight. Sixties one, I guess. I don't fucking know. It was an okay movie. I like that one less, but he's not the best. Yep, <laughs> he's not the best. Yeah, I'll put the sixties one there. Number five. Twenty twenties one. It was good, but not the best. Four. Four, I'm gonna put the, um. Fuck, this is a hard one. So now we got the, um. Dark Knight trilogy and the, um. The original Keaton. So for number four, I'll probably put Batman Begins. It's a good movie that we get introduced to or of Batman and then you get Scarecrow in the fucking movie. 60s one was good, it just had a fuck ton of villains. So it was kinda unnecessary. Um The bomb scene was funny as fuck though. Uh, what was number four? Oh yeah. Batman begins, you get Scarecrow, Rachel Dawes and all that shit. It was a good movie. Pretty fun to watch. Not my favorite Batman movie though. Um, number three. What would be number three? We've got The Dark Knight, Dark Knight Rises, and Batman the Original left. Number three, probably The Dark Knight Rises. Fucking awesome movie. The Bane and Batman battles were so fucking entertaining. Oh my god. Selena Kyle as Catwoman. Fucking excellent. Yeah. Also had a good cast. Anne Hathaway, Michael Caine, Christian Bale. It was a good movie. But yeah. That's definitely number three. Number two. Ugh, this is a fucking hard one. It's between the Dark Knight and Batman original. Um, I want to say Batman original, but... You know what? <laughs> I mean, I want to say for Dark Knight, but you know what? Batman original for Michael Keaton fucking amazing movie I think Michael Keaton is the best Batman of all time after Kevin Conroy the acting is good Jack Nicholson does a splendid job as Joker fucking entertaining ass movie really good movie but yeah I like the pale moonlight quotes in the movie and then Batman knocks the shit out of Joker <laughs> that's fucking awesome it was a good movie. Definitely one of my favorite Batman movies. Number one has to be The Dark Fucking Knight. Heath Ledger is amazing. His performance will never be replicated ever again. He's just fucking excellent. Especially like how scary he actually was. Yeah, never will be replicated ever fucking again really good really good movie F 
fucking love it. Especially like the Harvey and Rachel explosion scene was fucking awesome. The hockey pads quote was memorable. It was just a great movie. Oh, I forgot to say, Scarecrow's in every Nolan movie. He's in all three of them. But yeah, that's my ranking, I guess. You know. So first I have The Dark Knight, that's the best. Batman, Dark Knight Rises. I'm trying to remember. Um, fuck. <laughs> Batman Begins, the 2020s movie. I forgot what I had at number five. <laughs> I don't know. It was, no, the 60s movie, or 2020s movie, um, 60s movie. Batman Returns. Um, what was the other one? Batman Returns, it was fucking shit. I have shitty memory. <laughs> okay, so. Batman Returns. Um. I know that it was like Batman vs. Superman. Batman and Robin. And then I think number eight was, um. Batman Forever, yeah. Yeah, that's my list. Um, let me know if you agree or disagree. Peace.